In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate an OJ parameter. An OJ parameter is an offset in energy between two photoemission lines. The spectra typically contain peaks that correspond to the direct emission of an electron as a consequence of scattering with the photon. And the position for this peak depends on the binding energy, that is the difference between the ground state and the excited state that's created by the photoionization. There is another mechanism by which photoemission occurs as part of XPS, and that is an excited state relaxes to a lower energy level where an electron drops into the vacant K shell, and as a consequence of this process, another electron is emitted, and the energy of the electron that is emitted by the OJ process is the difference in the excited state and the relaxed state. And these two mechanisms produce peaks in the data and the difference in the energy of these two peaks either photoelectron or OJ peaks will provide information about the chemistry of the material that's being analyzed. The Latrobe database includes two VAMAS files from magnesium oxide and also from magnesium metal. So we can calculate an OJ parameter based on an OJ line from the metal and also an OJ line that is measured from the magnesium oxide. We have examples of data that we can use to perform this calculation. And if I copy these selected VAMAS box to a new file, I can then perform a calculation based on the report spec page and the custom report that allows the computation of an OJ parameter. To calculate an OJ parameter we need to identify peak maxima and the kinetic energy for these peaks so that we can calculate the difference between the two peaks that correspond to a photoemission line and an OJ line. Let me just rearrange the display so that it's easier to create regions and therefore identify peak maxima. Let's also adjust the number of tiles. We'll set that as four, because we've got four VAMAS blocks here. And now I can see all four of these data on which to create regions. The regions are created on the regions property page of the quantification parameters dialog window. So if I select this one and then press the create button, we end up with a, a region which needs to be adjusted. And for the sake of this calculation, I think I'll just use a very simple straight line background because all I'm really interested in is the peak position. I'm also going to tick the box that says calculate max and this will perform a calculation based on a, a quadratic to work out the peak maximum instead of simply calculating directly from the data the maximum intensity. So I've got one for the magnesium 2s so if I select the magnesium 2s and propagate I end up with a region here on the other magnesium 2s and then let's do the same for the OJ line and again I'll propagate and just make an adjustment oh, but I've made a mistake here that the element library has an RSF of 0 for the OJ peak and I need this to have some value otherwise it will not be included in the calculation of the custom report. So I've set the value to unity here and I'll also set the value to unity for the other region. So now I have four regions that correspond to the two magnesium 2s from these two different materials and then the same for the OJ lines. Let's just tick the edit mode button so we can see that we have data now from these two different materials and this is the sample ID that was brought through when I copied these data from the original data files. The custom report functions on the basis of the selection on the right hand side. So when I select these four VAMAS blocks, the names for the regions now appear in the quantification item names table. And these are the ones that are available for creating formulae that you see here. Currently there are no formulae here, so one of the options that I have is to try and use a predefined file that was saved in a directory 
that's in the CASA XBS directory that contains the CASA XBS executable. And in that file, I have a template for how I want to calculate OJ parameters. To make use of these regions, I need to substitute the names that I've currently got here with the names that I've defined as the region names. So what I need to do is modify these. So this is my photoelectron peak and I will call that MG2S and that's the name that appears here. I'm going to do the same for the OJ MGKLL and they must match precisely the names in this table here and here my formula is MGKLL now the photo emission line is MG 2s. These values when I process this table will be based on kinetic energy. In order to make use of the binding energy for the photoelectron line I'm going to copy this and I'm going to change my formula here so that it is the photon energy and I need to subtract off the kinetic energy and that will give me the binding energy for the photoelectron line. So now I have my formulae set up I can see that the names here match but there's one step I need to do further. The regions currently have a tag field that says MG2S in the one case and MGKLL in the other. However what I'm going to use is this tag defined report and in order to use this tag defined report I must have tags that represent a specific piece of information that I can extract from these regions so I'm going to select the position as my tag and I'll update the tag fields when I look at my regions now it says position rather than the previous value and this has the consequence that I can now generate a report that is based on these formula and rather than using the areas from these regions which would be the default I'm going to use the position which is the kinetic energy for each one of these peaks and they will be combined in this way so my report now tells me that I've got a photo emission line and the binding energy of that line is specified here I've got an OJ line and the kinetic energy is here and the OJ parameter that is the difference between the kinetic energy of these two lines plus the photon energy results in two different values for the OJ parameter and that would be consistent with these two materials one being magnesium oxide and the other being a magnesium foil